Draw the diagrams y versus x for the transverse wave function for each given conditions. We have a function here y x t is equal to the amplitude sine omega t minus k x. For letter A, you have for all x that are negative starting from x equal to 0. For letter B, you have for all x greater than 0 starting from x equal to 0. And for letter C, starting at x equal to pi over 2 k and at any time t. Illustrate the wavelength and amplitude for each diagram. For letter A, this case are for all x values are negative. So that means the wave would be moving in this direction going towards the negative x axis. So it's moving to the left. Since it starts at some arbitrary time, so we can set the arbitrary time to zero, so this becomes easier to solve. But start at x equal to zero, so it start here at some origin point. So we substitute or <coughs> the values of x. So we have x zero, which gives you a sine function of this zero, which gives you zero. So it starts from this point here. The next one is at negative pi over 2. So substituting this value here at x, so we have a negative here. So this becomes a positive uh, fa parameter here. But the sine function of pi over 2 will give you a positive amplitude a. So it's referring to this point here. Next one is at negative pi. So the sine the sine of negative pi gives you zero. The next one is the negative three pi over two. So the sine of this value here multiplied by here becomes a positive three pi over two gives you a negative amplitude. So it's here. <coughs> Last, taking the sine of negative two pi, this becomes a positive 2 pi here because of the negative but it still gives you a zero so hence if you plot this parameters here it gives you this wave function here so we do not forget to write the amplitude and the wavelength which is just the two, uh, two successive identical points so if you have this point here the next point here then the total length between these two points is called a wavelength. The next one is for x values that are positive. So that means they're going towards the positive x axis. So they're going to the right. And we use the same parameters for x and y, but this time they're all positive. So at x equal to 0, where t here is set to be 0, this gives you a sine 0. And y would be equal to 0. So it starts from this point for sine. For the next one, pi over 2, this gives you a negative pi over 2 here. So sine of negative pi over 2 gives you a negative amplitude. So this one. The next one is for pi. So sine of pi gives you zero, so it's this one here. And the next one is sine of negative three pi over two because of the negative here. Gives you a positive or maximum positive amplitude here. The last one is sine of negative two pi because of the, again the negative here. So the graph would look something like this. Okay, so it starts from the origin, then goes downward and goes upward. Now, we do not forget to write again the wavelength, the distance between two identical points, successive points, and the amplitudes, the positive and the negative amplitude. <coughs> the last case is for x starting at pi over 2k at any time t. Again, we can set the time t here to 0. 
So we use the same parameters, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. So we know that we're starting at pi over 2 because the given tells us that x is at pi over 2. So we know this one. When you substitute this pi over 2 to this function here, this becomes a negative sine pi over 2 and gives you a negative amplitude. So it starts here. Then the next one is pi. So this becomes a sine of negative pi, but it doesn't really matter because it gives you 0 here. Then the next one is sine 3 pi over 2. This becomes a negative 3 pi over 2. And this gives you a positive amplitude. So it's this point here. And the last one is 2 pi or becomes a sine of negative 2 pi and gives you 0 here. So if you plot it, instead from starting from the origin, it starts at the negative amplitude and goes upward, then downward. And we never forget to write our wavelength and the amplitudes.